hand out. No, yeah. Oh, you mean in the spider's web? He starts holding your leg and yeah, it's yeah. really close to the spider's web. Yeah. 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 There's always bridges, but when you pass the guard, one of the things we talk about a lot, getting too early, is getting to Keza. When I face his head, pull guard now. Just pull guard. Let's bridge him. Just pull guard. Right? This is like, I mean, you can get there, but if I'm facing that way, he's got to do quite a few moves, right? Versus if I'm, if I'm saying like here, uh, let's say here. Yeah, pull guard now. This is like immediately out. Right? Whereas if I face his legs and he starts trying to get out, go. Right? Even if I stay here, it's hard, right? He's have to do way more work, right? I'm not, I'm not, obviously, I'm not resisting. Now, if I start doing this, now pull guard. Then I can turn this way, he goes again, and so start trying to turn through. So every time I face here, it's very hard for him to pull guard. And if I don't like, if he starts getting under, I now go here. And now he's got to start. So this is the same with the armbar. If I'm grabbing his leg, I'm going into his, which is why the guard works for you, right? This is why, where you're digging that elbow under the knee. I start doing this, you get this elbow under. Yeah, this is why, it's all the same shit. Let's not, you know, get into anything, anything like I said the other, anything where they start going, that this feels like it's unique, or you're thinking about it as, oh, this is unique to this position. Don't think of it like that. Think of like, what do you know about side control? You know, what do you know about side control generally? Like, you know, chest to chest. And that's all the armbar position is. Instead of him being chest down, he's basically legs down. But everything else is the same. He starts going to my legs, I start going to guard. He starts coming up the body, the hook close goes to my head, then typically I'm underhooks him up, right? I'm, I'm bridging. And of course, we do sometimes want to bridge to create space and so on. But it's the same as guard passing. I pass the guard, I really don't want to be chest to chest until like, I've really cleared that hip side. I've got some insurance blocking his hip coming in, blocking that knee in. Does that make sense? So it's a good question. The more that they go towards the legs, I generally find that the guard works. The more they go up the body, I generally find that it's bridge or roll. If you think about mouth, you know, it tends to be at least as a setup, bridge and roll. And of course, you then get the thing that I go to bridge and roll, he defends the bridge and roll, and I go to the guard. So there's still that element, but at its most base level, when they start grabbing the legs, it's hard for him to, like, he really needs to put weight in his ankle. What happens is weight goes on his knee. This is back to the case of If you start grabbing their leg, the weight starts coming into this, but it ain't here. The weight's going here. You know what he talked about? You see what I mean? So, so I start going towards the head, right? So I'm doing this. Do you see the challenge I've got with this ankle? Yeah, no, but do what you did. You remember what you did? You, you, yeah. See, look, that ankle is there because the weight is in my knee. So what I sort of got to do here, going back to our technical standard, one always a benefit to getting up on top of it. I don't want to hop you over. Just like so. Just keep going. Yeah, imagine you've started defending at this, right? But like this is vulnerable here. So what if we, the better thing is this. Yeah. Now put your arm over the ground. Put your arm over the ground. Just do what you just do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah while well, you get the out for it, yeah. right? Because you're because now I've hidden the I've hidden the weight of my ankle. Do you see what I mean? My ankle is now here. You can't get his arm under my ankle. Yeah, that's his way out. You shut the yeah. door. I'm transferring weight here, just like Casey said. I'm still transferring weight. Because if I go here, this angle is, is this is fine, but then he's gonna, he gets that elbow under, oh, now I might, I mean, I may get the arm bar, but if he connects his hands, just connect your hands now. Go to your hands, connect your hands. Yeah, 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 and now that you're, do you see what I mean? So that's why I want to be climbing up. I don't want to be laying down there. That's what I said at the beginning of the week's session. I want to be up here, practicing my technical stand-up, using my legs 
and hips and you know all this power to. So if your hips are on the mat, your legs are effectively right. Yes. All your weights in your hips, yeah. right? So what happens is, like he showed, this is all Casey's drill. It's not just what he's showing, he's showing you something very foundational. His drill is like here, yeah, weights, look, my legs are, my legs are right. Weight starts to go into the knee and the hip, but it ain't in the ankle. It's not in the ankle. So now I'm hiding it. Now I'm pulling, I've turned this into a pull under his elbow. Now I'm underhooking him. Now he can't get his elbow underneath. That's why we always want to be climbing. Always want my weight on. Everyone in here now knows that this is this is rubbish. This is just garbage jiu-jitsu. Right, practiced by most in the world still. We still talk about this head and arm thing. And there's just no weight here. And this is the equivalent of this. And try and pull. Versus having your weight, you know, configured. And all my weight is on it. All my weight is on it. You know, my elbow will be on the ground, I say. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Let's get some uh, rolls in. I'll probably. I don't know. 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 I'll probably. I don't know